stood on towers like these and observed the reef in the distance, looking for shipwrecks as they occurred. Hi, this is Rick Curtis, and this Church Planning Minute is brought to you from Key West, Florida. The reason those wreckers would stand on these towers and look out to the reef and respond when a wreck occurred is that they would be part of rescuing the crew and the goods that were on that ship. And in return, they would get 25 to 50 percent of the worth of that cargo as a reward. So when a wreck was seen or discovered, the cry would go out, wreck ashore, and all the townspeople would go out on boats to rescue the cargo and the people from the ship as it was going down in the reef. Unfortunately, as church planners, we don't have wreckers observing our church plant, waiting for it to crash on the reef, but we can position mentors and coaches around us to have eyes on us so they can see potential dangers long before they come. As a church planter, let me encourage you, be strategic in who you choose to keep eyes on your church plant as it progresses forward. Someone that you trust, someone that has your ear and can cry out, wreck ashore. In other words, I see trouble coming and you might need to be aware of it so that you can take the steps necessary to weather that storm. God has called you to a high calling, placing as many individuals around you to keep that calling strong and going forward is important. So let me encourage you, pick the right people, people you trust, and let them cry when things look bad and respond to that cry with everything you have to preserve what Father has begun in you.